Hello, hello, hello. Welcome. Happy Wednesday. Welcome to Stamping A to Z. I'm Linda Gibbs. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in Canada. Um, this is my weekly series that I do on Facebook. Um, they are live and I hope to share creativity and card making and all things wonderful with Stampin' Up! with you. I love to get creative and show you all new ways to use products. Today is a fun and exciting day because we have the new catalog and it's celebration for January and February. I haven't had a chance to walk you through all the wonderful new products that are in the catalog. I have used some of them in my previous lives in the last couple of weeks, so you've seen some of them. I'm gonna go through today and show you some of my favorites, I couldn't keep it down to 10. So I'm going to have to talk really fast and go, <laughs> go as, or maybe I'll have to break it up in two. I don't know. We'll see how long it's taking. Um, I want to show you like all the, I think it's so much nicer when you can see the products um, a little bigger and live and in person versus not that it's in person, but it's on a camera, um, but on a page. It just doesn't sometimes do it justice, like some of the papers, sometimes the dyes, whatever. Um, it's nice to have someone walk you through and show you all what's there, because sometimes you don't realize that it's there, such as me. There is a new thing, this, this catalog, where some of the stamp sets you can order in photopolymer or cling and I did not realize that when I did my order so I just put the first number that was there didn't even realize there was two numbers I probably thought it was French or English or whatever was being offered I didn't pay enough attention so um yeah I'm here to walk you through and show you all the ins and outs so hopefully you can have fun looking at it and know more what you're looking at when you do look at it so let's get started. I'll just turn you around and we'll start going through this wonderful new catalog. If I can get you out of here and turn you around. That was not a very graceful turnaround, my hand in the camera, but you know, it'll do. It works. <laughs> so as you can see, I have the mini catalog that has just started and we also have celebration that started and is good for this month in February. The mini catalog goes till the end of April. So you will be able to, oops, the volume's on my, oh, I forgot to put the, boy, I'm like for my 107th episode, I'm not on the ball today. I forgot to put the do not disturb on my phone. So hopefully we won't get disturbed. We will see. Let me know. Um, I did forget to say, if you are watching, please say hi. Let me know you're watching, where you're watching from, if you're watching the replay. Um, I also do post it on my YouTube channel. So if you've got friends who prefer YouTube, you can always share it with them. Um, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Okay, let's... Um, get started. Obviously, I'm not just going to show you the catalog, but I have them listed and I'll show you the actual products as we go. So we're going to start with, since Valentine's Day is coming up, there's always Valentine's stuff in here. There's this beautiful, sweet country floral lane, and it's a fun one because it's a punch. It has some beautiful papers, some sequins. I did show this, I don't remember, I think it was last week. Um, and then there's this other one as well. I find they go really well together. Let me just pull it all out here. I'll do this one quick because you have seen it already last week. If you haven't, you can always go back and look at last week's. So there is in this suite, there's a 12 by 12 pack of paper. It has, you know, the usual, the busy print on one side and then the more subtle print on the other. And it always lists all the color um, colors that are used in there on the back. So that always helps when you're crafting. 
to know what to put it with. There's this fun bicycle pattern. So those are the 12 by 12s. There's these beautiful embellishments, which I pointed out, they they look really bright right now, but they take on kind of whatever they're on and become more subtle if that's what you need, or they can come, become brighter if you put them on bright. There's a six by six, what's it called, gingham paper. Uh, yeah, country gingham. So um, fun colors, balmy blue, mint macaron, petal pink, and sweet sorbet with different... There's tighter ginghams, and then there's bigger ones, if I can find one here. There we go. So there's some smaller ones and some bigger ones. Then there is, this is the stamp set. It's a photopolymer stamp set. So for those of you who like the clear, we've got the clear stamp set. And then there's the punch that punches it out. So now the punch can punch out um, the stamps which I showed last time how to make the most use out of your paper when stamping with a multi stamp. Um, the paper, the 12 by 12 paper also has um, two pages. There's always two of each. Watch, I won't be able to find it. I don't even know. Oh, here it is. Of, and these punch out perfectly with the punch. So if you missed last week, go back and check it out. I showed this one in a lot more detail. Um, and then I added this one to it because anything that has words, I love. I love to be able to cut out words. And this one has the three, um, kind of three steps of words. So it's got the background and then it's kind of got the... So this would be the background, this would be the middle one, and then there's the really fine writing. So you could stack them into three layers. You can cut them out, you can do all sorts of things with them. You can cut them into pieces and use them with other words that you have. Um, sky's the limit. So um, that's how I really like that one. It also has the two ribbons from this suite, sorry. I missed showing those. So here's an example of the three words stacked together. So the background, the center, and then the top. So that is Valentine's in a nutshell. <laughs> the next one on here, I haven't had a chance to play with it because it just came, um, is this Fancy Flora Suite. It is a huge suite. It has two, um, two stamp sets and dies that if you like to stamp this is a really fun set let me just pull it all out here um so the the stamps are a two-step stamping so lot you can have lots of fun with that you can do lots of techniques with your stamping um it is a photopolymer for the the flowers which makes it easier to stamp when they're two Step stamping. The other set is a whole bunch of really good greetings. If you don't have a lot of greetings, this is a good one. It's got congrats, birthday, sympathy, um, thank you, just everything that you would need is in here and it comes with really great labels to cut them all out with. So that's, you can you don't have to get the whole bundle, the whole suite. If there, if you only want flowers, you can get flowers. When you do buy a bundle though, so a bundle would be the stamp set and the dies that are bundled together, you get 10% off your that you're saving rather than buying them separately. And the flowers come with this beautiful um, full piece die. So you can have the cutouts, you could use it as a stencil. Um, Lots of fun with that one. Oh, hi, Helen. You had a hard time finding me today. Hmm. I tried to, I did go on early, so that's weird, but you know, Facebook does weird things. So those are the two uh, bundles that are in this suite. There's some really nice um, artsy kind of paper. They are the six by six. They're all kind of hand painted by the artists at Stampin' Up. 
very cool texture looking papers. Yolan, I bet you, you could like do stuff like this on your jelly plate stuff. Um, but you know, this is the easy way. Have someone else do it and it, <laughs> it's uh, done for you. I'm sure it's more fun doing it yourself though. Um, okay, so that's the paper. Now there is, you don't want to miss this paper. If you're not buying the sweet, doesn't matter. You need this paper. This is called a uh, fine shimmer paper pack and it has um, fresh freesia, soft succulent and gold. I don't know if I'll be able to get it to show in here, but it is like the most fine, like it's not, it's pretty smooth. It's one sided. So it has the nice and look at that fresh freesia. And then, oh, the gold is so pretty. It's very soft. There we go. You just kind of see that. Super pretty. Don't miss out on this paper. I highly recommend it. I'm glad I didn't miss it because um, I would have been sad if I missed out on that one. Um, and then there's the gems. So these colors are they in here? Yeah, Calyp this is Calypso Coral. I was just wondering what this one was. Um, it's Calypso Coral. So again, depending on what you place it on, it'll kind of take on that color just like our um, iridescent, what are they called? I don't have the name on here, um, from the annual catalog. And then this one is, I'm guessing, oh, this is Balmy Blue. And then these are supposed to be gold. So if you were to put it on the gold paper, it would probably shine a really nice gold. And then there's this beautiful ribbon, which isn't open yet because, like I said, I just got it. Um, they've been a little slow on getting things out since the December sale. They kind of got backlogged. It was so popular. It's a really nice soft satin ribbon um, in Pool Party, which is one of my favorite colors. Super pretty. And that's what's in the Fancy Flora Suite. Next is another floral one. At first, I didn't, I wasn't really loving the flowers, but I really liked the hello and the thanks. And this is one of the ones that you don't want to make the mistake on. It comes in cling or photopolymer. I did not realize that at the time, so I ordered the cling. I wish I had the photopolymer, but it works either way. It's all good. There is, um, ooh, everything's falling in my pile of stuff. So there is this paper. It's part of Celebration. So if you were to order this bundle, say at $67.50, you could order this paper for free. And it matches with this fragrant flowers. It has also the color, the Calypso Coral, um, Fresh Frieza, and the I think there's Evening Evergreen. Hang on, let me see if I can. I should pull these out better. So here's the backgrounds. They're really fun, kind of so busy flowers, but then the backgrounds are really cool. So if you're not crazy about the flowers. The backgrounds on these are really nice. And like I said, I didn't super love the flowers, but I really wanted the words. And then I was playing with this the other day because I was trying to make some birthday cards and I was coloring the flowers and it was a lot more fun and pretty than I thought. So it has a nice little um, texture background and it has the leaves and it has a nice label. So here's the card that I made with it. I just had some fun coloring with the blends. But that's, uh, I really, I really love this um, font, I guess, is kind of where, and then you add the celebration paper to that and well, it's a winner. This is the next one that caught my eye. Those of you who know me know I love the ocean. Anything ocean, anything mountains, I'm in. So, this one has, I did show you this the other day because um, we did a card with it, but I wanted to show you this super pretty 
paper that it comes with. So I have everything stacked in a box and as I pull things out, it's all falling over because it's no longer full. Okay, so there's these beautiful um, adhesive backed pearls. You can color them with blends if you wanna change their coloring, but they are beautiful as is. If you ask me, you've got the stamp set, which is clean, so that means it's the red rubber. I don't think that one has a choice. No, this one is clean no matter what. It has lots of great dyes, some textured seashells to play with, and then the paper is the star of the show. I did quickly show this the other day when I used it. Again, I don't know if you can see. Um, it's called, it, there's gold, so there's some gold foiling, and then there's some pearl effects on here. Let's see like on the seashells. There's gold there, there's some nice gold fish. Some nice um, pearls and this, the water waves. Super pretty papers. Um, and then on the other side, they don't have the specialty on them, but they've got some nice scenes, nice wood grains. So the paper is kind of, I always have a hard time using this side of the paper when there's a really nice finish on the other side. I don't know about you guys. Do you guys have the same problem? It kind of like kills me a little bit inside to use a plain side, even if it's a really nice, like there's nice um, other side. I really, sh I want to put things back so I don't end up with a huge mess, but I feel like I don't have the time to fiddle with all this. Okay. Um, so I showed you that then, then the, the ribbon, the ribbon is again, it's even softer than the other pool party ribbon. This one I think is balmy blue. Um, yes. So it's kind of, a. ah, uh, can't open it. Come on, slide in scissors. <laughs> I should have done this ahead of time. I didn't even think. I thought I did. Okay, there we go. Oh, I have it. Did I get it? <laughs> ah! Anyways, I might have to give up. Oh, come on. There we go. All right. So it's like super, super light and soft. Next is, of course, more sea. I had to have the turtle. Um, super cute. It is a reversible stamp set. So you can basically just put, it's photopolymer. So when you stamp your turtle, if you stamp it on the ridged side, it gives you the, the, the details and then if you stamp it on the back side it gives you the solid um, color beneath so here's a sample of one I did so I think it's pool party underneath and then Bermuda Bay on top but you could do it multicolored you could do whatever um, and there's different size turtles and some fun bubbles fish this is a fun stamp set on its own, it's not a bundle or anything. Um, I did, these were a swap that I did and I did cheat and I stamped all the turtles and I cut them out with my my uh, scan and cut machine. Since there's no dies, I will admit to not cutting out 20 hand turtles on my own. These background stamps are awesome. You can do so many different techniques with them. If you don't have at least one background stamp, I highly suggest that you um, get one. They are cling. They work best um, if you have either the big block or a Stamparatus. But if you don't, you can always stick it onto the front of your case, but you need to put something solid inside your case so that it doesn't bend when you you just need something to be able to 
stick it down but or you you'd have to push it like this so that you can get um the pressure to stamp it but they are large so just be forewarned if you do order it make sure you um are aware that you either need a big block or a stamp radius or else you need to use get creative so there's the dots and the stripes haven't been able to play with them yet just got them i'm sure there's going to be lots of fun things to do the next one is on the farm bundle I kind of waffled on this one, but then, of course, Celebration has a matching paper, so that was tempting, and um, my husband's family, they're all from the farm, and so I just thought, farm, and then I also thought, because I have lots of pictures of the kids when they were younger on farms and stuff, and so it would be great for scrapbooking, so I caved. So we've got the cows and I've actually, again, I haven't been able to play with this, but I've seen lots of samples of cards um, where you can add. So there's the hills and these all work really well with the celebration paper. It can cut out a lot of stuff in here. So you've got all the animals. These can all be cut out with the dies. Let's just pull this out here. We've got animals and then some gingham you've got trees and cows so there's lots of um landscape kind of stuff where you can just add animals to it and make it really fun like even you know nice subtle and then the little chickens so cute and the barbed wire and look at this isn't this pretty you could add some more animals to it and make a whole 12 by 12 page of it. And then there's just a, and then there's the veggie garden with some nice stripes. You could make a really fun album out of this free paper. So again, if you were um, to get the bundle, which is 70, you would get this paper. You could choose this paper as your free item and have it all. So you'd have your stamp set, your dies, and your paper. Okay, next. I don't go very far very fast. <laughs> I think I'm halfway through. Okay, um, is this, it's just a sink, uh oh. Okay, um, this stamp set, I really like, I love how um, this can be turned into a rainbow just using your markers. It's just words, it's just sentiments, but you can use it with almost anything and it's a nice big, um, they're nice big stamps that you can kind of really get creative with. And don't miss these dots in the corner, they don't go with any sweet per se. Um, they're just kind of tucked on their own. They're really nice, solid adhesive backed pieces. So there's Knight of Navy, Crumb Cake, and White. So some nice neutral um, embellishments there. This is another one I fell in love with as soon as I saw it. I just thought there's so much potential for it. Uh, you can use it like you can see in the samples you can use them on their own or you can add them to another stamp set or card whatever and you can add your little bubbles to them so you've got outlines you can use the inside you can use the outside um, it has its own little um, if you want to cut out a to make it look like a big bubble or whatever size you want I think they show it, they showed it somewhere. Maybe it's in the back. So just so you know, when there's a bundle, if you go to the back, there's even more ideas because they show all the bundles and there's a whole other idea. Yeah, here you can see how they use the little, the long line to make their own bubbles. So there's even more ideas. Don't miss out, lots of ideas. Um, can never get enough ideas, right? This one is a cling, and I believe it only comes in cling. Yep. 
So um, that is that one. You will see, so this paper and this owl are from Celebration, so I will get there. I'll just set this card aside for now. Next, so if you guys love the gnomes that were in the winter mini, now we have all year round. If you add these cute little gnomes to them. So this is a more spring, summer, or all year round really fun gnome. So you got the little Valentine's dude, you've got the flowers, and you've got the squirrel. So you know, between the Christmas one, the kindness gnomes, and then this one, these work with the dies that came with the gnomes from the Winter Mini, and I believe they are still available. Um, you are still supposed to be able to have access to them. I can't remember where I saw them. They're in here somewhere listed as... Um, still available I believe yes in here uh, do, 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 do. where is it perched anyways they are available as far as I know the dies and then you can get not the stamps not the Christmas stamp set but the, the spring one and then you've got a fun St. Patrick's Day bundle it's we've got lots of fun punches in this um well, I guess for each holiday, which I think are perfect because it's quick and easy. Um, you know, you had the Valentine's Day hearts. Now we've got the clover, which goes with this cute little stamp set. And here's a sample card. This one was made by oh, my upline, Lindsay. Um, it was for a swap. Isn't this cute? And she colored, so you can see she colored the pearls from the C set. So that's um, that's a fun, fast card for if you've got some Irish friends who celebrate St. Patty's Day. And then next up is this one. I wanted to show you because it, if you like to fill up your page with like a nice big sentiment, look how big these are. Like, look at this, congratulations. You'd almost have to put it on a slim card or something. It does fit, but like, imagine, that's like your, you know, that's substantial. I really like that. And I really, really liked these animal print papers. They are so fun. They've got different metallics. So you've got silver kind of leopard print. Got more of a mermaid fish scales, zebra, and then it's the same kind of print on the other side, just not. But who's going to use this side? I'm sorry, but I can't. But it would be fun it on a like in a bag or something if you made. Oh, yeah, that's for a big event, like maybe graduating university. Um. Yeah, so there's gold and there's silvers. Look at that. Isn't that cute? Love these. Fun, fun papers. I didn't used to be an animal print person, but in papers, I like it. Don't, don't ask me to wear clothes <laughs> with animal print, but paper, I like. Make an envelope. Yeah, an envelope would be nice too with that. Okay. Next, um, both of these. <laughs> so at first I noticed this, but I hadn't really paid too much attention. And then I saw all these really cute cards being made. And I have to say that my boys love Mexican type foods. They love tacos. They love guacamole. They love um, avocados. They love, they just, they're kind of Mexican kind of crazy kids. So I had to order it because I wanted to make cards for them. I thought it'd be cute with the the holy guacamole. It's, <laughs> it's just the perfect card, especially um, my oldest and youngest both have birthdays in the summertime. Um, it just seemed like 
something, a stamp set that I would get a lot of use out of. No, no dies that go with it. So you'd have to either fussy cut. Again, I cheated and used the scan and cut. Getting some use out of that, baby. Loving it. And then this citrus one is so much fun. And it's just, it's one of those with the hybrid embossing folder. I did show that where the die um, sits nicely into the embossing folder. So you can die cut and emboss at the same time. I showed you some other techniques on different ways to use this and create new things, but it just sits in there. You put your paper on, run it through. You end up, I don't know if you can see in this light, it's all textured. So you, if you're just running the, the embossing folder, you can get a full sheet of the lemon stuff. Or if you are wanting just those four, you can cut out um, and then there's the stamps that go with. So you can have a nice, you could do limes, you could do lemons, um, you can do all sorts of stuff. It's just fun. A fun one to have. I love citrus fruits and I just think that they make for fun cards too. What do you guys think? Do you have a favorite yet? I don't know if I could pick out one favorite. Okay, this one is not one that jumped out at me, but one of our, um, one of the members in the group I'm in, she actually um, was the, the, she demonstrated this at the convention. And so she posted her video for us. And she did such a good job. Um, she made me want to have it. <laughs> but um, the turtle, how cute is that? And then the bunny and the fox. Like, it's just, I think it's so much. Because rainy, when I think of rain, I think of depressing. I think of blah. And this is just a fun rainy day kind of thing. So it just kind of makes rain fun instead of yuck. Um, so it has the... Um, stamp set. It has the dot, a whole bunch of dies that go with it. It's got like the, the bridge, it's got some stumps and some grasses, and then it cuts out, of course, all of these, um, even the clouds, which is nice. Then it's got the raindrop um, embossing folder, which is fun too. It's got these little cute flowers. I'm not sure how hard, I, sent, I haven't, again, this one just arrived, I haven't, you could probably glue them down with just a little glue, and if you use your take a pick tool, it's probably the easiest way. I wasn't sure if they were, they're pretty flat, so they're easy enough to stick down. I didn't know if they were like flowers that actually stuck up, or, but they look like they're pretty easy to work with. The paper is really fun. Again, it's kind of like the farm one, only it's got it's a specialty paper. So it has a UV coating on the one side. So I don't know if you can see the clouds on this one have the UV coating. And then there's a plaid. And then there's the animals. Oh, these guys are so cute. And obviously these guys can be cut out with the dies. They're the right size. But you can also see, like even his shirt has the UV coating and the turtle's back has that shine. And then the cool pink, fun colors. Then there's this nice rain with the UV. And, woo, fun. Oh, they're gonna make this hard because, you know, this I wanna use, but this I wanna use. This is cute. Some more of the animals. So cute. And then the raindrops. And then you've got more raindrops. And then another background. And you've got the umbrellas. Look at all that shine on the umbrellas. Hopefully you guys can see that in the video. 
know if you can quite see it as well as like I said, it's always better live in person. Um, but hopefully it gives you a little bit better than just seeing it in a catalog or on a screen. Well, you're seeing this on a screen, but at least it's um, a little more 3D um, viewing than normal. So that's that whole suite. Lots of fun. Make green a fun thing, especially if you got little kids around. Here's a sample. This was a swap that I received and I lost the little, she had put a, I should have put it in a clear, in this, it's one of those, um, keeps going around and around. So cute. There's a little stump. Anyways, um, that's a sample of that one. Isn't that cute? Then we've got a cute classic Easter set you know the classic bunnies and the punch which make it again easy so they've got all kind of the spring holidays wrapped in a stamp set I need to do oh yeah well maybe I'll do I need a I usually do a fancy fold card with each month with my club so maybe I'll include that in next month's club um, on how to do that. They're not difficult at all. Um, this is another fun one that does the labels. So you can have more of a ticket looking kind of label. You can have lots of fun with this. There's three different sizes for each one and you can stick them in both sides. Maybe I'll have to do a tutorial on that one as well. It's been a while since I've done that. And then all the fun sentiments that go with it. Again, this is one, if you prefer the clear, it does come in photopolymer and cling. So just watch for that if you have a preference. This is another one that was a must have. I have shown this one. I showed um, how to make stamps out of foam with the dies because the dies are so different from the stamp set. Um, oh, I didn't show, this was the labels stamp set. Getting ahead of myself here. Okay. Oh, this? So the stamp set and the dies are very different from one another in this suite. So I showed how to make stamps if you wanted to stamp these as well as cut them out, but it makes for a lot of, this is a great one for scrapbooking, card making as well because it has lots of um, kind of landscape um, papers where you've got like the whole, but a lot of them are good for cutting in half. So you can see like this, you'd probably want to cut it in half at least. And then there's a whole bunch of trees. Some, I don't know if those are waves, wind, and then this one, which I've shown. Another one. So again, mountains and me, right? Had to have, especially with three active boys. Um, so there's those ones, and then there's some. embellishments which are fun and then there's some um, twine which again is pumpkin pie garden green and coastal cabana this was the card I had uh, showed how to make a um, couple weeks ago I think so that's that one I'm gonna have a whole lot of cleaning up to do after this okay then don't miss these dies they are a great alphabet set they're nice and thin so you can fit you know full words on even a, just a card it has doubles and i don't think it has triples i think it just has doubles and singles so it makes it easier when you're spelling out a word it does have the numbers um 
as well. They are in behind here because I couldn't fit them on my magnet. So don't miss those because they're kind of on their own. They're not with a bundle of sorts. And then the last thing I wanted to point out was the Memories and More. So there's a fun, um, the Memories and More cards that make for really good scrapbooking or really quick card making. They're really fun black and white, so just simple um, cards. This go around, isn't that cute? Lots of just easy, there's always big and small, and then there's stickers. And then there's always the cards that match. So if you are a card maker, not necessarily wanting to scrapbook your memories and more cards, they have the cards and envelopes. So there's the blue and the green, and then there's the pink and the orange. There's um, 20 card bases and 20 envelopes you could make really quick cards out of these if that's what you like to do. Um, but there was two more papers I wanted to point out out of this catalog that I didn't necessarily have the bundles for or the, I can't remember what the vellum goes with, but there is a specialty vellum in, in the uh, mini. So there's dots, there's stripes, and then there's leaves. So if you like vellum, don't miss, miss that one. And then this is from one of the masculine suites. Now I don't really have any bikers in my life, so I didn't want the bundle. However, I did get the metal plate embossing folder, the embellishments, and this paper. This paper, with me having boys in my life is awesome. So again, it's got like this sheen, you're gonna be like roses, but it's got so much fun. So it's got tires and then kind of that metal print. It's got the wrenches and kind of like I thought for a road trip um, paper, this is a fun one. Got your nuts and bolts and then kind of these to cut out. So if you're making an album, this is a really good paper to use. There's checkered and it all has that sheen with the black. So you know this could be, it doesn't have to be motor biking, right? Except for this one. <laughs> but this one's perfectly good. So you don't have to be a biker to love this paper, that's for sure. But it does go really well with that sweet if that's your thing. So then, celebration quickly. Um, I did, we did uh, come across this paper that was with the flowers. We came across the farm. Um, the other ones that are in here that are so much fun is these, the owls and the carrots. The owls are so cute. So that's where this was from. And then the carrots, I have not had time to make anything with, but I have seen people use them as trees. You can use them as carrots. You can do the kind of garden kind of stuff. You can do a bunch of carrots. It's just a fun play on words one. Um, fun to have. So two fun stamp sets. Those again, for if you spend $60, you can get them for free. Then there's this Dainty Flowers Designer Paper. It does go with the Dainty Delight Bundle that is in the mini catalog. It is on page 55. I don't have that one. It's not one that I necessarily thought I would use a lot. It does have some fun dies though. I was tempted, but the paper alone is beautiful and can be used to make beautiful cards. Here's one that was from a swap. This was um, Deanna Benyuk who made this and this is just paper and then she cut out sunflowers and pasted them on top. So this is beautiful paper that you could have a lot of fun with. Yolande, I think you could probably do amazing things with this stuff. Look at that. 
fun. This one, of course, I think that's that one. And then more subtle. And then these with the frames, you could put sentiments or whatever inside. Uh, and then another fun background. We've got the leaves. Another. And we've got some purples. So even if you're not into dainty flowers, these backgrounds are really fun too. And it looks like it has texture. It looks like it's like the pulp paper, but it's just the way it's printed. Like it's just paper, but it has such a nice texture look to it. It's a really nice paper. So that's another one that's free with a $60 purchase. And I think those were my favorites out of here. There's obviously more stuff. Oh, oh, I almost forgot. I did point this out the other day. It is a huge pack of paper called Dandy's Designs. So this one is free with a $120 purchase. The only way you can get your hands on these is to make purchases. You cannot just purchase the paper itself. This is one of the papers. So it has a whole selection of blues and green, like kind of the Coastal Cabana balmy blue, um, probably Granny Apple green. Let me just pull it out. So you can see, like it's got lots of fun different, look at the polka dots, lots of fun designs. So I have it into two piles because it's so big, it doesn't fit all into one um, paper holder. But it has, I believe this is Mango Melody, but then it has the fun flowers, stars, stripes, hexagons, more polka dots. Like just, I love these colors, like especially for spring. So bright and fun. Some more stars, more plaids, stripes, squares. Just a really fun pack of paper. You know, we can never have too much paper, even to make like gifting and boxes and bags. I love this cute little um, cracker box. It's very cute. So those are all my favorite things out of the catalog. Lots of favorite things. Lots of really great stuff. There's even more that you might like more than I do. Tons and tons of stuff for everyone. So hopefully you find something in there that you love. Celebration goes till the end of February. Um, so if you want to get your hands on something, you have till then. However, they are while supplies last only. So uh, like I've said before, papers usually sell out first. And when they're, I don't think there's any dyes in here, so that's not a problem. Um, stamps are made in house, so they usually last longer. However, the carrots and the owls are super, super popular. So um, whether those go on back order, I don't know these flowers as well the beautiful happy beautifully happy have been really popular and this paper is super popular so if you really want something um don't wait till the end of february there's also i should mention um if you want to join my team there is a really great deal on right now there's this beautiful boho blue mini um stamp and cut machine that you can get. So there's three different options right now. One is you get the machine um, and $225 of products for $175. The second option is that you get the white machine and $225 for $175. So same deal, just you can choose between the white and the blue. The third choice is you can have your choice of $225 worth of product for $135. If you live in Alberta, there's no tax, no shipping on your order. So you get straight up $225 worth of product for $135. That's a really good deal. Um, if you have any questions and you think this might be something um, that you want to do, you can let me know. 
Um, there's no there's no commitment in joining. You can always get the kits um, without any. If you even if you know you could you could want it for the discount. You could just want this discount. You can want to turn it into a business. Whatever you want to do is up to you. There's no uh, you're not bound to anything. So if just the deal is tempting to you and you want to know more, let me know and I can uh, walk you through that. Um, but yeah, so it's a really, this is one of the best deals that I've seen all year. Well, I guess it's now we're at the beginning of the year. So you never know what's coming in the year, but this is a really great deal. Um, yeah, so if you have a huge wish list like I do, think about it because you could get that. And if you still have more to get afterwards, you can get a discount on the stuff that you buy from yourself. Okay, hopefully you guys, uh had fun. I didn't really show you how to make anything today, but I showed you all the fun stuff you could play with and make things with. And we'll have lots of fun over the next little bit um, playing with all these things. If uh, Yolande, I know I heard you on the card, but if there's ever something you want to see or you want me to kind of showcase or a technique you want to know how to do, you can always put in a request and I will... Uh, take it into account and try and do that for you. So I'm here for you. All right, have a great rest of your week and see you guys next Wednesday. Bye.